Why, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had an excellent New Year's that was hopefully filled with family, friends, and maybe the play table. So today, we're gonna take a look at another game currently on the market. This one is called The Game of 49. Really, in this game, all you need to remember is the title because everything about the game has to do with the number 49. So come gather around the table and let's check out the game of 49. So besides having great intro music to the game, this is a nice, quick, and easy game to learn and show your friends on the play table. So basically the game starts right here. As you can see in front of us, we have our board of 49 numbers. You've got numbers around the outside, a layer in that, and then a layer in that. And then as you can see, the middle number is number, of course, 49. So to start this game, you come down here and press this nice little plus button. You can have up to four players play. So if I had want to have four players play, I go one, two, three, four. And you can see it puts each player's color uh, in, in each of the quarters. What's neat about this and, and shows off the awesome abilities of the play table is you can turn these babies and move them anywhere you want. So depending on where you're sitting around the table, you can move them and, and you can have a nice comfortable view of your game piece. The one thing I did note, just a side note here, is this player here up in this corner there, it gets a little bit buggy when you move the uh, the player board over the deck of cards. The deck of cards is right up here. So I would say in some of these uh, early games that you're playing on the game of 49, try to avoid putting your play mat for this player anywhere near this card deck. You can even turn it above the card deck, but I would keep it actually away from the card deck. So once you've set your players, either you know two to four players, you can go ahead and hit the start button. So basically, uh, the, the person whose turn it, it is, is is notated right here with this circular chip that says, of course, 49, what I tell you. So this person draws a card. So you simply swipe a card and it comes up with the current number that we're betting on. So as you can see here, it would also put a nice green chip on the location of that number. So the point of this game is a bit like connect four. You wanna get four chips in a row. It can be horizontally, vertically, diagonally, has to be four chips in a row. So that's what's so nice is you can kind of work anywhere you want to. So this first number is number 42 and this person is starting. So basically if you tap on your uh, your game board you can actually see how much money you have. So what I do is I, I, I'll hold my, my hand over my game board and tap it so I can see how much money I have because you really don't want any of the other players knowing how much money you have. So you can just tap it again to get rid of it. So the betting for this particular number, as you can see by this giant red arrow, is $7. So you can raise your bet or lower your bet, but the minimum bet for this particular square is $7. So to bet, you just hit the green button and it now, as you can see, the current player comes over here. So now the new bet is $8. So if you're good with that, you wanna bet $8, or let's say we wanna raise them up to 10. I really want this spot. Move it up to 10, hit the green button, and now you can see play has moved to this player in this corner with a current bet of $11. So I'm gonna say, you know what? I'll take that for 11. Play comes over here at $12. I personally don't think this spot is worth $12, so I'm gonna hit this nice red X button and say, you know what, I'm out. This person, same thing, $12 is too expensive, red X, I'm out. This person, same thing, you know what, I just can't do it, red X, I am out. So as you can see here, the yellow player won the bet at $11, and it puts a yellow circle on that spot. So the yellow person won that spot with a bet of $11. So again, I could tap on my play mat and see how much money I have left. It's showing $38. So there is the uh, $11 that I spent. So play continues just like that. So now it comes to the player's turn in this corner. They would swipe card. 
The next spot is 12, which is again notated here with a green circle. So we're now betting on this spot with the starting bet being at $2. So the further out you go, the betting starts at a lower amount. Once you move into this area, it gets more expensive. So same thing, we're just gonna bet around here, bet around, bids go up by a dollar each time, and then I'm gonna say I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, and you can see the blue player won that with $5. Now, seems very, very simple, but you're probably asking, well, how do I get money? So you get money when a wild card comes up when you draw a card. So it is now this player's turn. They have turned over the next card and it happens to be a wild card. So what the wild cards are is a series of spaces. They're kind of these square areas. So you've got, again, the outside, the inner, the inner, and then the single 49 in the middle. So you can see here, it's a wild of the numbers 25 through 40, which is lit up by this uh, the, the purple line on the game board. So really what we're bidding on here is any spot within that purple area. So same thing, the betting goes round and round and round, which depending on what you've built and where you are, some people may really need that spot. So we're just gonna kind of play it out here. And the other thing about a wild is there we go. So this person has won the bet. So what it does is it changes from purple to green, allowing me now to pick any space. So I'm gonna say, you know what? I want this space. So there you go. It turns that green because the green player won. And as you can see on the board, the other nice thing about a wild is you get paid for any space that you have on the board. So it's, it's how you get income in this game. You get paid $7 for every space that you own on the board. So the blue person, the blue uh, player got $14 the green player got seven and the yellow player got seven. So if you were to take a look at your money again, you can see here now the blue player is up to 55 and after getting that $14 of income, green player is here, is up to 48 and the yellow player is up to 45 just based on the $7 of income because of the spaces on the board. So you really want those wilds to come up because you really need that income to continue betting on other places. The other one that will come up is the 49 space. This is again, a very uh, highly bidded space, but you can actually fight over it as well. So if someone bids it and wins it, there's a chance that wild's gonna come back up again and you can actually steal the space from the person. So play will continue in this exact fashion, going around in, in a, a clockwise motion with each person betting on each space that comes up until the winning person, the winning player, gets four circles in a row. So it's really interesting because sometimes a player will get three and then you know a spot will come up that you know they need and it becomes an all out bidding war to try to outbid that player from winning the game. So in turn, someone ends up losing most of their money and has to hope that a wild card comes up so you, you know, get that income back. So it gets really exciting when there's a lot of players playing this game. So by now you pretty much understand why this is called the game of 49. Everything about it, is about the number 49. But it's a nice, quick, and easy game to learn to play with typically four people. The one-on-one -on -one battles get a little tedious because the, the bets just kind of go back and forth with four people. It's nice because you can have two to three player battles betting out over a certain space on the board and the fourth person just sits there and enjoys their stack of money. So I hope you like this quick review of the game of 49. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about the play table and maybe we'll see you in the next one.